This is Mission Control Houston with the ISS update for today, Tuesday, April 24th, to update the activities on board the International Space Station and the Expedition 30 mission. The team here in Mission Control Houston is watching over systems aboard the station and not working any uh, major issues at this time. All is functioning well as uh, the crew members work through the mid-afternoon of their day on board the complex. European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers just completed an event speaking with students around Europe through the European Space Agency and the Spaceship Earth uh, program. He spoke with students that were located in the Netherlands, Germany, Spain, and the United Kingdom. Following that event, uh, Kuipers is due to go back to working with NASA astronaut Don Pettit on some training at the robotics workstation aboard the complex. There's a workstation inside the cupola module and also in the Destiny Lab where they can operate the space station's robotic arm, Canada Arm 2. And uh, they are going through some training and reviewing procedures for operating that arm to latch onto or grapple the SpaceX Dragon cargo capsule. They've been uh, refreshing their uh, training on that uh, procedure in preparations for that uh, cargo vehicle and its uh, first flight to, to the International Space Station. And uh, they'll continue with that training, although uh, SpaceX announced on Monday that the uh, launch will be delayed from the uh, target of April 30th. <coughs> in a statement, it was uh, cited that uh, SpaceX needed more time to finish hardware in the loop testing and properly review and follow up on all the uh, data, and that it would be wise to uh, push the launch uh, likely about a week, and that uh, date will be coordinated uh, with NASA and uh, set soon. And elsewhere on board the space station, uh, crew members are getting ready to return to Earth in another uh, vehicle that is at the station, the Soyuz spacecraft that brought uh, Expedition 30 Commander NASA astronaut Dan Burbank and cosmonauts Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin to the complex. <coughs> they arrived at the station in November and will be returning to Earth on Friday. So they are packing up equipment uh, for its uh, return in the Soyuz along with them and uh, doing some adjustments to a specialized uh, seat liner fit fitted for a crew member inside the Soyuz. In uh, dealing with another uh, vehicle at the station, astronaut Don Pettit was continuing to unpack cargo that was delivered by the European Space Agency's automated transfer vehicle, the third uh, ESA uh, cargo vehicle delivered to the station called Edward, Eduardo Amalde. After all that cargo is unloaded into the station, it has to be unpacked and put in its final location. So Pettit has been working on that for a couple days. And uh, Kuipers is uh, working with setting up an experiment so that he can participate in that later this week. It's called VO2 Max, and it studies uh, the effects of living in a microgravity environment on uh, the astronauts, looking at the oxygen uptake or how uh, their bodies uh, <coughs> breathe in the oxygen while uh, they're exercising. And uh, astronaut Dan Burbank also participated in an educational uh, activity, an am amateur radio pass or ham pass with students in Italy today. <laughs>